Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. In this video, I will explain about question 3 of your homework. And this homework is from uh, chapter 6. And by the way, this is uh, this question uh, is the past year final examination question. Okay, actually, I already explained this question in our last class. But I think I made some mistake. Uh, in my explanation so in this video I will uh, explain uh, once again this question 3 especially the uh, question 3 to Roman solving this system by using uh, fourth order RK method okay for question 3 given a uh, system of ODE and given also the initial conditions and this is the first function and this is the second function. I mean, this is the first uh, uh, ODE and this is the second ODE. And for question 3 to Roman, you need to solve this system. Meaning to say, you need to find the X and Y value by using fourth order Ume Kita. And the initial conditions are T not equals to 0, T, uh, X not equals to 2, and Y not equals to uh, 2. And for question 3 to Roman, um, the, step, the step size is 0 0.1. And sorry, the step size is 1.0. And since you need to find for the x and y value after one year. So for this question, you only need one iteration. Okay, so t1 value, of course, the initial condition 0 plus with the step size 1. So the, uh, the t1 value is one year. So after one year, what is the x and y value? And you must note that the x and y represent the number of species x and y. And species x and y are the species of rabbit. So by using RK4 formulas, x1 is equal to x0 plus h over 6 multiplied with k plus 2k plus 2k2 k1 plus 2k2 plus 2k... 3 plus k4 and the y1 formula is y0 plus h over 6 multiplied with k1 plus 2k2 plus 2k3 and plus with k4 okay um this is the part that i messed up last time i don't really explain to you the differences between k for x and k for finding y value okay so actually for uh, x1 formula here this uh, the first term, this k1, is k1 for x value. So you must write k1x. This k1x and for k1 for x value. And then plus with k2 for x value, plus 2k3 for x value, and plus k4 for x value also. And for y1 formula, the first term is k1 for y value, k plus 2k2 for y value, plus 2k3 for y value, and the last step, plus k4 for y value. Okay, so, you must write all of these subscripts for k, because the values are not the same. Okay, and then, next step, you need to find this k value. Okay, for the first k value, k1 for x, formula is f1 t0 f1 of t0 x0 y0 and for k1 for y value you must use uh, the second ODE the second equation f2 of t0 x0 y0 if from both formulas of k1x and k1y the expression inside the bracket are the same these two um, Formulas only differ uh, for the first expression, for the first term. For K1Y, uh, you must use the second function, the second ODE. For K1X, you must use the first ODE. Okay, so K1X, uh, you just find the value of F1, 0, 2, 2. K, for K1Y, you must find the uh, uh, value for F2 of 0, 2, and 2. And you must note that this 0 represents the t value, this 2 is the x value, and this 2 
is the y value and after that you just substitute the t not x not and y not value into the first function to find the k1 x form, uh, value and you must uh, and then you substitute the t not x not and y not value into the second function to find the value of k1 y value and this is the uh, final answer for k1x and k1y okay next you must find the k2 value for both x and y so for k of 2x the formula is okay for x value you refer to first function for k to y you refer to the second function for k to x it is f1 t not plus half h x not plus half k1 x h and y not plus half k1 y h and uh, this expression is the same for k to y and you must note that The second, um, uh, the k, uh, the x value, it is x not plus half k one x. So this k one x is the value of k one from x, three point seven six. And for y value, it is k one y. So you must refer to the k one value for y, uh, for y, which is three nine four, three point nine four. Okay, and then uh, just calculate this value and this value and also this value here. So for K2X, you just find F1 of 0 0.5, 3.88, 3.97. And for K2Y, you just find F2 of 0 0.5, 3.88, 3.97. Okay, and please note that uh, this 0 0.5 is the T value. 3.88 is the x value and 3.97 is the y value. Okay, and the next step, you just substitute this t x and y value into the first equation and also the second equation, and you will get this final answer for k1, a k to x and k to y. Okay, next step, just um, follow the formula from our key four method. So for K3x, it is F1, T0 plus half H, X0 plus half K2X H, and this K2X is the value from the previous K value for X, 6.8428, and Y0 plus half k to y times h and this k to y is the previous value of k for y 7.7072 and same also for k t y just for k t y this f is f2 second function the expression inside the bracket same as the expression for k 3x so for k 3x it is f1 of 0 0.5 5.4214 and 5.8536 while for KTY it is F2 of 0 0.5 5.4214 and 5.8536 and the next step you just substitute this T, X and Y value into the first um, equation and also you you must substitute this t x and y value into the second equation so this value is for k 3 x and this value is for k 3 y and finally the last k values k for x and k for y for k for x it is f1 of t not plus h x not plus k 3 x h and y not plus k 3 y h for k for y it is f 2 of the 
expression inside this bracket same as k for x. So for k for x, you just find the value of x1 of 1, 10.9856, 13 and the value is 13.749. And for k for y, you, you just find the value of this F2 of 1, 10.9856, and 13.2185. And the value for k for y is 24.1112. And by the way, I use four decimal places in my calculation. And lastly, you just substitute all of these k values into the x and y formula. So x1 formula is given by x0 plus h over 6 multiplied with k1x plus 2k2x plus 2k3x plus k4x. So x0 is the initial condition, so the value is 2. Plus h over 6, uh, since our h is 1, so it is 1 over 6. Multiply with 3.76 plus 2. Multiply with 6.8428 plus 2. Multiply with 8.9856 plus 13.749. And the answer for x1 is 10.1943. Okay, and uh, for y1 value, the formula is given by this uh, expression here and you just substitute all of the values into this formula and you will get y1 equals to 12.9838 so this is the final answer for x1 and y1 let's analyze uh, the question first the question asks you to find the number of species x and y so what is species x and what is species y species x and y are two species of rabbit so um, the number of rabbit cannot take a decimal values so you must convert your final answer into whole numbers so for x value it is 10.1943, so this number is actually approximated to the number 10. So you just uh, round off this number into decimal, uh, into whole numbers. And for y1 value, it is 12.9838, uh, and this number is approximated to 13. Conclusion, after one year, the number of species X is 10 and the number of species Y is 30. Okay, that's all for this video. Um, if you have any questions, please ask. And thank, uh, thank you and assalamualaikum.